What's up everyone? My name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. It really helps me out. It allows me to do these videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. If you could hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button, you get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you're using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Okay. So like I said in the last couple of videos, I was going to, basically I'm going to be making a sign. Uh, never made a sign before, so I need to do some practice. I've done a couple of practice runs and they haven't come out that good. But I purchased some new things as I've my previous videos you can see them it was up here or up here one of these corners uh and um i'm going to attempt a new sign so i'll show you the process that i've seen looks like the easiest for me to make a sign and we'll go from there so uh yeah follow along i'll show you what we're doing all right so what i got here on my desk is it's actually two boards that i glued together it's going to be 10 by 10, so it's going to be a really tiny sign. Uh, like I said, I, I don't want to do too much on it, uh, get too detailed, because I don't want to discourage myself. So the way that I was, I've was, i seen how to make them is that you print out what you want to do. It's going to lay out here. So we want to center it. Okay. Okay, so the, once you get it centered to where you want it to be, okay, you want to tape down the end. Okay, so we'll tape down this end right here with some painter's tape. Okay, and then what I have here is I have graphite paper. Okay, and what you want to do with the graphite paper, it's for copying. Make sure that you put, oops, I got the wrong piece there. Make sure that you put the graphite side down. Lift this up. Make sure the graphite paper is completely covering your letters. Then what you basically do is just trace over the letters. So it'll transfer this image onto the wood. Really simple to do, so. Let me get that done here. Okay, so when you're tracing over the letters here, you wanna make sure that you don't press down too hard, whereas you rip the paper, but you wanna press down hard enough so that the graphite goes onto the wood. Okay, and once you're done, if you're worried about whether it's going through or not, you lift up the paper, and as you can see, it went through, and as you can see here, I missed the middle of the R. So we fold it back down. That's why you tape it up so it'll line right back up. Get the middle of this R done. Pull back again. And there you go, it's been done. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it pretty darn close. All right, let's see how that came out. Okay, not too bad. Like I said, the grains make it very difficult, so I'm hoping they don't get torn out when I use the router. So let's take this off and put this over to the side here. Okay, what we need to do is once I hit the route, put the bit with the router on this, this is going to move all over the place, so it's going to be difficult. So, excuse me, what we do get some blue tape, painter's tape, 
Okay. You can use double-sided tape for this. And that should be enough to hold it. Oops. And then on the back of this, do the same thing. And this here is just to prevent it from wiggling around. Okay. So that was just routing the board. This is what I've got right now. You can see, I think it came out okay. So what I'm going to do is everything that I've seen, I have to put some lacquer over it first, and then I have to put the paint on, I'll sand it, and I'll show you the steps that I'm doing. But I'm going to go to the handheld camera for this. So I'm going to be doing this outside. <laughs> so. Let's go do that. Let's put some lacquer on this. All right, so I'm outside right now, and what we're gonna use is some clear flat lacquer. Uh, gonna use my spray table here, so gotta put you down for a second so I can open this up. Okay, and what I basically wanna do is I wanna get where the lead is on. What this will prevent, because in with pine, it'll bleed. Okay. Okay, so we'll give that about 10-15 minutes to dry. It usually dries pretty quick. And I think what I'll do is I'll start off with the red and then work my way around. So we'll see how that works. I've never used the lacquer before. I've always just painted, but the, the paint can bleed. So let's give that a few minutes to dry. All right, everyone, lacquer dried really quick, uh, which I was surprised because it's extremely humid. We got a storm coming in right now, so it's going to be raining outside. So I can't do this outside, so I got to do it inside. So you're going to have fans running and vents running just because of the smell. Uh, but let's, uh, let's put some paint on the sign. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, this is going to be two colors. T the, the word Red Sox and the logo are going to be red. So we're going to do that first. So I don't want to get any paint in here. So what I'm going to do is we take some blue tape. Make sure we cover that up. Okay. It's nice and covered up there. Got myself some red spray paint. Matte Fire Red. Let's shake that up. And let's see how good of a job I did. I think it came out good. And hopefully this doesn't bleed too much. Hopefully that lack of trick works. Okay, what we'll do is we'll let this dry. Yeah, I left a lot in, a lot of chips in there. Same thing in here. Probably should have just scraped it with a sander. I mean with a, a chisel. Note for next time. But let's let that dry for a little bit and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. All right, so the red paint has dried now. Peel this off. And it did bleed a little bit there. But what we're going to do, we'll save some tape here. We'll go right over the top. Okay. And for the bottom, 
We're gonna paint some Harbor Blue. No, it is not. Okay, so now we gotta let this dry. And then we can sand it down and let's see how it came out. Paint should be dry. Yeah, it bled through there. Darn it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the desktop and we're going to sand it down. Okay, well, what we're going to do is just change out this paper. It's pretty much torn up. We're going to put on some 60 grit. Alright, let's go to the orbital sander, see how that does. That didn't come out too bad. What I'm gonna do now, oops, because everything comes crashing down. Okay, we'll set that up. Let's get a rag here. Get the dust off of it. I did miss some spots here. Alright. Alright everyone. I'm out of the camera. Battery died. I didn't realize it while I was sanding. But, I got all the paint off. I got a coat of clear gloss on it now. Just have to wait for it to dry. I'm going to need to put another coat or two onto it. And then it's done. It came out okay. Uh, learned a few things on it uh it's a lot better than the last one that i made so i learned but when you watch the videos on youtube of making signs they make it look so easy ah it's not that easy but i'm happy with that for the second sign that i've made uh yeah but well that's gonna be it uh this is how the sign's gonna look when i'm done uh i'll show you in another video i'm gonna probably do another um another video uh making us but it came out okay uh in any case i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching i do appreciate it if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom really does help out the channel if you already subscribed i do appreciate it you guys are the reason i can make these videos hit that bell icon you get a notification anytime i put up a new video if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Hopefully I got as much recorded as I think I got recorded, but we'll see. Uh, in any case, that's going to be it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again real soon. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.